Today's workout is gonna help you grow your glutes. Oh yes, today we are doing a grow your glute workout at home. We're gonna add in some weights, we're gonna add in some bands if you have it, but most importantly, we are gonna have fun. What's up everybody? My name is Rebecca Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel. People say that they come for the workouts but they leave with a changed mindset. So two things that you need to do before we get started is hit that subscribe button because it really helps us creators. And if you haven't already, definitely Download the Burn by Rebecca Louise app and check it out because it is packed full of workouts, customized nutrition plans, and a whole mindset section to help you with your positivity. All right, let's get started on gaining those glutes. If you guys have a band, grab your band. If you haven't, no problem. What I'm also gonna do is link my glute activation video up here as well, which is a great five minute exercise workout to do to help you really make sure that your glutes are activated. So first exercise we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk across, pushing those knees out to the side with a band. If you don't have a band, no problem. Just do the same thing. And again, if you don't have weights, you can still do this without weights. I'm gonna give you modifications for every single exercise that we do. All right, so here we go. We have got 40 seconds of exercise. We have got a 20 second rest. And glutes, they take a while to gain, right? And I'm talking like a year. It takes a year to do it, but guess what? How fast has the last year gone of your life? I would say mine has gone pretty fast. So just imagine if you added in this workout three times a week for the whole year, the difference that your glutes would look. All right, here we go. Take it all the way across. You can start to already feel the glute muscle warming up. And that's why we want to activate to make sure that we are using the glutes and we're not using those quads. That's gonna be a different workout. All right, here we go, all the way across for three and two and one. All right, nice work. You can relax that band, pop that over to the side. These are our bow and bands. They come in a pack of three and you can also get them individually as well. All right, we're gonna take it into a sumo squat. So you're gonna bring those legs nice and wide. And you're gonna hold the weight right here. I'm demonstrating right here with five pounds but use something where it starts to feel the burn the last 10 seconds. All right, here we go. So we're gonna take it down into a sumo squat. Now press down into your heels and squeeze the glute as you get to the top. That's it. So really push the knees out to the side, drop your shoulders down, and then bring your legs up by using your glutes. Now, you're gonna have to get that mind to muscle memory, but think about as you go all the way down, just wait there for me one second. Now squeeze your glute, squeeze your glute, now use that to lift you up, nice work. So take it all the way down, press into the heels and then squeeze all the way up. Nice work everybody, looking strong, right? We wanna look strong, the first couple of seconds, first few minutes of a workout is how we are gonna have the rest of that workout. Press all the way down and gently release. All right, we're gonna take it into a single leg Romanian deadlift. So it looks just like this. You're gonna bring that chest all the way up, drop the shoulders down. You're gonna slightly bend that front leg and you're just gonna take it down to halfway through your shin and then tap it all the way back. So that's it. Slight bend in each knee, press down into that heel and then squeeze all the way up to the top. Here we go, slow and controlled. If you need to hold on to a wall, no problem. That's all good. It's just gonna work your core a little bit more by doing it freestanding. Here we go. Now press down into that heel and then squeeze. That's it, work in the back of your leg, work in your hand hamstring is also going to help perk your booty up as well. That's it, slow and controlled. One of my favorite exercises whoo, that I love to do because I can really feel it in my glutes. All right, looking good, everybody. Take it all the way down. I hope somebody wants to have a conversation with me right in my end of my workout. No. And if anybody tries to interrupt you in your workout as well, you can say, I will speak to you later. All the way down and release. I'm not, I don't even take my, when I'm working out by myself, I don't even have my phone with me, otherwise I get distracted. So you're only allowed to use your phone if you're watching me on your phone. Apart from that, no one else is allowed to message you and distract you. All right, we're gonna take it straight over to the other side. So all of that weight wants to be right here on your right leg, the one that is straight, maybe just a slight bit in your knee not to lock it out. We're going to put the hand on the hip and then you're going to push down into that heel. Think about push down into the heel as if your toes were actually going to come up off the mat. So here we go. So down, lift that leg up just a little bit higher through the back and then squeeze. Nice work. So slow and controlled. Halfway down to your shin, maybe lift that back leg up just a little bit higher so that you can feel that stretch. 
and slow and controlled down. Spread those toes nice and wide on the mat to help you with your grit. And then just focus on one position right on your mat to help you with your balance. Lift up that heel at the back a little bit more. That's it. Ooh, do you feel the difference right there as you come all the way down? That's it, right here. Now lift up that back heel and then gently release. Nice work. All right, we're going to take it into some good mornings. Whoo, love this exercise. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring our weights right here onto our shoulders. You're going to have your feet hip width distance apart. You're going to keep both of your legs straight. And all we're going to do is we're going to take it down halfway and then squeeze. Now, if you haven't done these before, do not use heavy weights. This is what will absolutely get you on fire the next day. So that's it, halfway down and then all the way up to that standing position. Pull that core in nice and tight. Give yourself a smile. You're doing it, you're making it happen. And here we go, that's it. Legs nice and straight. Really think about pushing that booty out to the back. Chest is lifted and then feel that stretch all the way through the back of your hamstrings. Really working on those hamstrings to perk up your booty and grow your glutes, right? So that hamstring gets stronger, your glutes are gonna get stronger at the same time. That's it, all the way through. Come on, keep going, smile. You got this, change your state. When it starts to get challenging, just know that you've just got a couple more reps and then you're gonna get through it. All the way up and gently release. All right, we're gonna take it into slow repeaters. So we're gonna just hold on to one of our weights right here. And all I want you to do is we're gonna have all of that weight onto your left leg, right? So what we're doing right here is we're working that left glute. So all of that weight wants to be right here, little to no weight. And all you're doing is you're gonna tap in and out, holding onto a weight for me. You can hold onto two weights right here if you prefer, but bend that knee. The more that you can bend that supporting leg, the more that you're gonna feel it in your glute. So slow and controlled, tap out. Bend that front leg just a little bit more. That's it, all of the weight wants to be on that heel. Almost think about lifting the toe up. See how that feels, but make sure that knee is going out to the side. Looking strong, hold that core nice and tight. Hold your arms, a little bit of an upper burn as well here. Now bend that front knee a little bit more. Feel all of that burn going straight to your glute. You've got this, here we go. Inhale through your nose, exhale everything out and slow taps, you've got this. Now lean forward just a little bit for three, two, one, and release. Can you see the difference? When you just lean forward slightly, you take it out of the calf muscle and into the glutes. Okay, same thing on the other side. We've done one side, we're gonna go over to the other. So all of that weight into that right leg, holding that weight right in front of you here, pull that core in nice and tight, and then a slow tap in and out. Spread those toes nice and wide, bend that front leg just a little bit more. Now lean into it. All of that weight, little to no weight on that leg that is moving. So just tap in and out. Looking good, knee goes out to the side. Remember, don't let that knee come in. Now bend down just a little bit more and then lean forward. Woo, that's it. Lift those toes up to feel it in your glutes. Nice, come on, here we go. Keep that energy alive. Keep your motivation right there. That positivity is gonna be running through your veins after you finish this workout. Let's go for it, come on, squeeze. Bend that front leg just a little bit more. Lean further into it for three, two, and one, and gently release, Woo! All right, we're gonna take it into one of my favorite exercises, some narrow deadlifts, okay? So you're gonna bring those feet about hip width distance apart, bring those weights facing towards you, and we're just gonna take it down, and then we're gonna press into those heels and then coming all the way up. So palms are facing towards you, drop your shoulders down and lifting up through your chest, and then send your hips back, okay? You really wanna think about like, oh, you're gonna like perch over the toilet. That's it, so all the way up, squeeze, and come down just a little bit lower, and as you come up, press into your heels. You don't need to fully tuck your hips under at the top, but just stand up, that's it, get that squeeze in your glutes. Now this time as you come down, think about squeezing the glutes to bring you all the way up. Yes, because remember, we want to work those glute muscles. So come down halfway, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes, lift. Ah, nice work, here we go. Guys, we have just got two more exercises after this. Do not go anywhere. Your results are gonna be at the end of the workout. Squeeze and release. All right, we're gonna use one weight. If you wanna use both of your weights, no problem. Again, with weight, if you haven't increased your weight for at least the last, like, especially six months, it is time to increase them. We're gonna take it into a squat right here, so not the super wide one, not a narrow one, kind of like midway mark. I'm gonna take it straight back, push down and squeeze. Here we go, now lift up those toes. Press all of the weight into your heels and squeeze your glutes as you stand up. That's it, lift your toes, 
and squeeze. So good. Drop the shoulders down, chest is lifted. Think about this nice, strong position. And breathe. Come on, looking good. Now, that weight might need to be heavier. For me, five pounds, it's not going to grow in my glutes, right? I'm just demonstrating right here so that I can also talk. Probably going to use 15 or 20 pounds in my hands right here. So take those knees out to the side and squeeze those glutes all the way as you get to the top. All right, here we go. Three, breathe, two, and one, and release. All right, last exercise we're going to do is we're going to take it into a wide deadlift, all right? Getting a little bit at the back of those hamstrings. So wide deadlift, legs slightly turned out. We're going to have a nice straight legs. You're going to again send those hips all the way back and then bring it all the way up to the top. So that's it, take it back, lifting up through the chest. Feel that stretch all the way through the back of your thighs. <sighs> Breathe. Come on, stay strong. Now, if this is too easy for you, it is time to increase your weight, right? If you're not getting results, it might be down to your nutrition. Because 80% of how you look and feel is down to what you eat, right? And sports nutrition is so important, right? You're an athlete, you're doing these exercises. So if you're not adding in our sports nutrition line, you are missing out. It's about working out smarter, not harder. So if you want to know what pre-workout, post, during workout I have, then all you're going to do is download the Burn by Rebecca Louise app and you're going to get access to book a free call with me or one of my coaches. All the way down, press and gently release. All right, well that went by so quickly, I'm going to challenge you to do at least one more of my workouts. I put two up right here that I think will be perfect to add on to this and make sure that you do just one more. Push yourself, you have got time, make time. Exercise is not a luxury, it is a necessity. Awesome for showing up today and I'll see you in our next workout.